Now our next question comes from Abdulaziz Algamdi, and Abdulaziz says, I love your videos and I have a question. When using flash, how do I set the ISO, shutter speed, and aperture on the camera to give a proper exposure? So this kind of rolls right on from Luisa's question, but it's a little bit different because when you're shooting in manual mode and you're using flash, you're dealing with two different types of light sources. One light source is your ambient or existing light, like the lights I have here on in my studio right now, which are on continuously, which means that for as long as the camera is reading the scene, it can read that ambient light and calculate for it. A flash, on the other hand, is an instantaneous light source, meaning that it flashes for a very brief moment, and it only flashes as the photo is actually being taken. Now the exposure indicator and the exposure meter that's attached to it cannot read for the flash because the flash doesn't flash any light until the moment you're taking a photo. That means when you set your exposure on your camera, your ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, and you're using flash, what you do is you set the exposure for the ambient light, not worrying about what the flash is going to do for the scene. When I'm taking portraits in my studio, I have my studio lights on so I can see what the heck I'm doing, but I don't want those studio lights to impact the picture that I'm taking. So what I do before I ever turn on a flash is I set my ISO, aperture, and shutter speed so that the exposure indicator reads around minus three for the ambient light in my studio. And if I take a picture without flash, that picture is almost, if not entirely black, which is the way that I want it. And then you bring the flash into the equation and you put the flash on your camera or you use your stands and your lights and your triggers and whatever you're using, but you bring the flash in. Now you can use the flash in two different ways. One, you can use it in smart mode, which is TTL where the camera and the flash talk together. And if that's the case, what happens is the camera will tell the flash how much light to use for the scene as it's taking the picture. And then you can adjust the flash to increase or decrease the amount of light based on what you want the picture to look like. But you're going to adjust the flash, not your exposure settings, because your exposure settings are set for your ambient light. Now if you use a manual flash, you just have to set the flash manually by yourself, which isn't a big deal. You just might need to take a test shot or two to figure it out. Now this is something I'm going to go into more depth into when I do my flash video series, which I'm working on right now. So I ask for your patience as I work on getting these videos out to you guys. But I wanted to address this question because it's a really excellent question.